Hello and welcome back to Jason's Macintosh Museum. This is part two in the video series on the Macintosh 2CI from 1989. And in this video, we're going to start the 2CI up and demonstrate some old games. So we have a keyboard, mouse and monitor hooked up to the 2CI and we're using the Apple Color 13 inch RGB monitor up here, the Sony Trinitron monitor. And then down here we have the Apple Extended Keyboard 2 and the Apple ADB mouse. So the 2CI does support soft power, so we can turn it on either from the switch on the back or from the power key on the keyboard. So first step is to we'll turn the monitor on. Just give it a second to, uh, to warm up. For that, and then we'll uh, then we'll switch on. The Macintosh 2CI is now up and running, so we'll start with a quick tour of the system software. So in this case we're running system 7.0.1 with 20 megabytes of memory. Now one point to note here, notice that the system software is apparently consuming 13 megabytes of memory. Now that's actually not the case. If you see this on an old Macintosh where your system software is using a ridiculously high amount of memory, it's often because you don't have 32-bit addressing turned on. And if you run this machine, a machine that has more than 8 megabytes of memory, in 24-bit addressing mode, which is the default setting if the PRAM gets reset, then anything above 8 megabytes will be claimed by the system software and will be unavailable for use by any applications. So the remedy for that is to change the machine into 32-bit addressing mode. So let's do that now. So we go to control panels. And we want to look for the memory control panel. So you can see that 32-bit addressing is currently off. So we need to turn that on. We'll bump up the disk cache while we're at it, I think. So. Let me restart that and, and we'll come back. I've just rebooted the 2CI into 32-bit addressing mode and as you can see now, the system software is only occupying about 2 megabytes of memory so we have all the extra memory is now available for applications to use. So in the control panels there's not much else to really talk about. It's standard uh, system 7. Let's bump up the, the volume though. Eep. There's probably not much else to uh, talk about here. But if we go to the monitors control panel, you'll see the difference in having a a 24-bit video card. As you can see, we can display thousands or millions of colours, and we also have the option of uh, well, this monitor doesn't support any resolution higher than 640 by 480, but if we had a, a multi-sync monitor. We could, go, we could go up to, I think, uh, 1280 by 1024 resolution. So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at some old games. So we have a game on here called Glider, which involves attempting to fly a paper uh, aeroplane uh, without crashing into, uh, into objects within a, uh, within a house. So let's have a go. Beep. Oh, 16 color mode, yes. Now I have had a go at this game before to uh, get a bit of practice. 
um, because trust me, I did need it. So let's see how far we can get. Now the idea is, you can see that if you fly over the, uh, the air vent, your paper aeroplane <laughs> gets a bit of a boost. The idea is you don't want to let it hit the floor and you don't want to crash into any of the objects like this poor old, uh, looks like a Macintosh Plus <laughs> sitting over here on the, uh, uh, like that. <laughs> Try and get that clock, get extra points for that. Uh, we don't want to crash into the bookshelf, I don't think. We have to, uh, we've, got to we've got to glide like that. Try and get the, try and get the, uh, get the ah, good. Oh, careful, oh, careful, careful. Oh, oh. Ah, that didn't work. Ah. <laughs> Can we go up the, oh, I haven't got, oops. Um, we have to go under, I think. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's try that again. Let's see if we can do this. Uh... Aha! That worked. Ooh. Oh! Crashing the bookshelf. Ugh. Ah, now getting the clock is going to be a little tricky. Ooh! It's going to glide down. Haha, <laughs> that worked. Ooh, we can try and get that battery. Yes! Oh, I think... Ooh, can I get the balloon? Get the balloon. Ah, no, you're not supposed to get the balloons. <laughs> I thought they gave you extra points. To set your uh, paper airplane on fire by the looks of it. Hey. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I see. Takes you up to the. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Ah, now how am I supposed to get through this? Uh, can I do that? <laughs> you play guitar. Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> We've got one more try. So I'll try and get through as quickly as I can now. And then you gotta. Oh, oh, I didn't even touch it. Uh, let's just see if we can get to the next uh, next level. Uh, whoops. Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Now, the next game we'll try is called Brickles. And this really illustrates the issue with playing older Macintosh games on a very high-end, well, for its day, a very high-end model. So I'm going to leave it on the default speed, and you'll see what happens. Uh, 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 this is... <laughs> I, 
<laughs> Doesn't quite work, does it? Let's try it again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay. Let's bring the speed down a bit. Okay, now we'll uh, now we'll try it. That's better. Whoa, it's even now it's still a bit quick. Oops. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Oop. Let's try it again. This is on its slowest setting, I might add, as, as well. Oops, one more try. Oops. Is the ball speeding up now, is it? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. I think at this point we'll uh, shut the 2CI down. So that was the demonstration of the Macintosh 2CI from 1989. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.